Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African View. Today, I'll be teaching you how to create a very beautiful party design inside of Canva. So open Canva and let's start designing. Before we get into the whole nitty gritties of this particular design, what I just want you to know that this is a very simple design you can be able to create within some few minutes. But in this video, I'll be taking you through every single thing you need to know on how to create this design. So let's switch into Canva and let's get started. Alright, so here is the design and I'll just click on add a new page and the dimension is 1080 by 1350. The first thing you have to do is to come into photos and search for nightclub. After you make the search, you should see so many photos inside of Canva and you can choose any one of your choice but I'll go for this, it's the same one I used in the initial design over here. So I'll right click, come to set image as background. The next thing you want to do is to double click and crop the image to any style at all you want and then come to edit image, in edit image click on adjust, in adjust make sure you find blur and increase the blurriness to 24%. Okay. So after you do that, the next thing we are going to do is to find the 3D you know text you saw in the design okay so let me show you how i found them so come into elements okay and in element you just have to search for 3d word textile okay when you search for that you should see something like this first of all choose any of them and make sure you find this magic recommendations once you see the magic recommendations click on see all and you should be able to see you know, a lot of them interesting yeah once what you need to have in mind is based on the word you would want to create or to form in your design you would have to choose the exact alphabet you will need okay so i'll be going with something like grads bash or bash grads so it means that i have to find the appropriate alphabet that can help me to create that word you understand and just also make sure that your word isn't too long because once your word is too long you'll be forced to you know keep reducing the size and it'll just be so small on your design which i don't think is the best okay so try to keep it very short and sweet you understand so let me just walk you through on the whole selection okay so what i have to do is to search for b a s okay so the a is here and h for the bash then i'll just come to a new page and search you know select the words for grad so g r okay a is over here then i'm looking for a d and s okay so you can see i have my alphabets over here then select all of them reduce the size okay then we are just going to arrange or to form our word so b should come here a can be here the a is too small so i'll increase the size then the s over here okay and the h okay which is also here the H is also smaller, so we'll increase the size, then select all of it, okay? Then reduce the size just a little bit. After you do that, you can even choose to reduce it more and, you know, create some spacing depending on how you want to edit your text, okay? So this is a way you can do it, or you can just place each word on top of the initial ones, okay? It's another style you can also do. So I'll put the bash over here, then the grads, I select everything and then I'm just move it to the top over here, then I'll reduce the size, okay? to something like this then i'm also going to arrange you know each alphabet to form my word okay so the g comes first then the r follows okay then i reduce the size a little bit then the a should come so the a now has to come then the d you know should follow reduce the size a little bit more then the s you know should also be here and i would also reduce the size then select everything and reduce the size more because there was actually no space okay now i can just place the s over here okay so let me just arrange them and you can see how everything is looking it's actually looking very beautiful okay so so you can just adjust them according to how you want them to look and you can see what i have done so far now select everything reduce the size more you know to something like this and um yeah i think this looks good to me or maybe one thing i can just do a little bit over here is to reduce the size smaller okay so that you know i have something like this okay then select everything and move it to the top now what i want us to do here is to apply some shadows to this okay and i'll just walk you through how to apply to the first two alphabets then i'll just speed up the, pro the whole process so that um we can actually save much time so that this video doesn't become so long okay so let me just walk you through the whole thing so select your first word or your first letter and come to edit image in edit image make sure you are finding shadows or you can search for shadows over here so i click on shadows choose the backdrop or the drop sorry no, this is backdrop and this is drop okay then um just double click so the offset make sure you set it to three transparency to 60 and the blur to nine okay so this is the whole settings you have to apply so 369 then apply then choose the second one and you just have to do the same for it so drop then you know you just come to 360 then nine okay and that's all you have to do so 
I'll speed up the whole process of me applying um, the shadows to each web and um, make sure you also pause the video and do the same. You understand? Yeah. Alright, so you have been able to apply the text shadows or the shadows to each alphabet and um, Canva is also trying as much as possible to save our design. So the next thing we just have to do is to apply our subject image to our design. Okay, so I will just go into photos. Okay, and in photos, let me... Oh, oh I think Canva is trying to save it. Okay yeah sometimes that's what happens so i come into photos in photos i would um, just go into my recently used and i'll find this so just in case you also want to find the same image over here all you need to search for is beautiful young woman posing on studio backgrounds okay then i will drop it down over here come to edit image and choose bg remover and while canva is removing the background of our image i want to use this opportunity to tell you about some few interesting things the first thing is canva pro so just in case you are looking at doing more inside of canva when it comes to removing background images publishing canva designs directly from canva to any social media platform adding multiple brand pits including custom fonts having more animation options when it comes to working with teams or larger teams inside of canva all of this is possible so i have a link in the description box below that can help you use canva pro for free so kindly check it out and start using canva pro today the next thing i want to talk to you about is the 60 photo descriptions ebook i have created for you this contains 60 descriptions you can just copy and paste into canva and find high quality images inside of canva and the last thing is i've also upgraded my assorted canva templates from 20 to 65 templates so now you have more templates you can actually use for anything at all you want so all these links can be found in the description box below so now that the background of my image has been removed i will just position it here and increase the size okay so something like this i think is cool okay then i'll just send it in a little bit holding shift okay then we'll crop it this way so this is what we have at the moment and i think it's looking very beautiful okay and actually i think everything is looking flat but don't worry we'll actually spice things up very soon so the next thing we are actually going to do is to add you know the wine bottle we saw in the initial design okay so that's what we are actually going to do so i will just come into my upload and you can find this from elements.theafricangeeks.com okay just search for alcohol or something like that you should be able to find that okay, even though look if you're under 18 years i'm not saying you should go drink alcohol alcohol isn't for you okay i don't take alcohol even at my age i still so make sure you are if you take alcohol make sure you are drinking responsibly or you are being responsible so as we have it over here i'll just rotate it you know slightly and i would you know increase the size okay then i can position it over here right click and send it to the back okay and you can see how we made the look over here so we can simply bring this lady you know inside so that she takes majority of the space you understand yeah and um, this should it shouldn't go behind the text it should actually be in front of the text so instead of sending it all the way to the back you can actually you know send it back okay so i will just do this and um, you can see how everything is looking at the moment nice one so now what we are going to do is we are actually going to spice up the whole design you understand so let me just show you how to do that and look at this thing over here let me just okay so click on the b come to edit image in edit image we will come to adjust in adjust what we are going to do is we are going to increase the contrast of this and the saturation of that okay then we can just you know move the tint to negative 41 after you do that you can increase the vibrance a little bit to 11 and you can see how it's looking it's actually looking sweet and Blah, 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 blah. yeah <laughs> so i'll select everything and copy okay so after you copy it please make sure you're paying attention to what i'm about to do because this is the shortest or the can you actually hear that in the background oh, fuck. so after well, i'm just taking the key so after you copy um uh, what is all this let me just cut let me show you <laughs> so after you copy the you know the filter code over here select the next letter come to the filter code select all and paste okay then come over here you're just doing the same select all and paste come here paste okay so let me just speed up the whole process okay and uh you see everything was just easy we can also apply the same to this okay and make some adjustment you can see i think this looks very beautiful and i'm loving it already okay nice one all right so i'll position this here and i think yeah i'm loving it i love it i love it okay so come into elements okay and we are we are almost done with the whole design so come into elements and search for leaf okay so once you search for leaf you'll see so many leaves in there come to photos and uh, make sure you're finding leaves with no background okay so with this leaf i'll place this one over here duplicate it okay rotate it you know according to how you want it you can 
reduce or increase the size okay and just be creative about you know the whole arrangement of this leaf okay you can place this one here and i can maybe just rotate it all the way here duplicate it again i can reduce the size over here then what we'll do is we can select this one come into edit image come into adjust and make this make it blur okay make it blur and we can also do the same to this make it blur and we can do the same to this make it blur okay then i can send this behind the a over here okay so you can see how this is looking i think i'm, I'm loving this one so much okay now send this behind the each also and um we can just duplicate and put one here and i think i should make this one blur also right and one can also come here okay then just so that it doesn't look um weird you can just also post one here duplicate it and maybe reduce the size a little bit you know something just interesting so this is you know how everything is looking at the moment now we just have to add some few information and before we re add the information click on the image okay come to photos and i think we were actually supposed to do this before but don't worry choose glow okay and um, canvas should apply the glow to our design and um, select it again the size increase the size transparency should be increased um the blur should be zero okay and um, let's increase the size also a little bit okay then come to color in color we can choose any color at all from this okay so i use the color picker and select maybe this color over here so you can see how it's looking at the moment so depending on how you want your design to look you can just use you know um, the color picker to choose colors in our design this helps to make everything look beautiful but you can see one issue we face is that after you apply the shadow canva resets you know the whole photo editing we did on our photo and i think this is one of the issues that comes with canva but the only thing we just have to do is we just have to now come and choose any of this um, letters over here come to edit image go to the adjust copy the filter code okay click on your image okay and do the same come into adjust where is the adjust okay go to see all and paste the filter code over here and everything should look sweet okay i don't think it applied or oh, let me let me just be sure because i okay i think everything applied so i think this is looking very beautiful and with this information we have over here i honestly think it's something you should be able to add okay because it's just adding text and shapes and that's all so i'll just copy it and paste it over here you know just bring it down here a little bit let me move this leaf over here then um i'll just select this one also copy and paste okay so this is just a matter of you adding text to your design and um, it's something everyone can add text so i don't think i should stress on working you through how to add text okay yeah so you can see this whole thing is actually looking big here okay so i think let me just do this reduce the size a little bit um, i think we are fine we are actually fine with this design so yes this is what i wanted to teach you how to create in canva and just in case you're looking for more tutorials you can check my channel make sure to like subscribe if you haven't the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity i should see you in my next video